and us are diametrically opposed. Sahara TV, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Hello viewers, welcome back to Sahara TV. We've come to the close of our broadcast this Saturday. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'd like to give uh, great thanks to our staff once again for putting on uh, the broadcast today and, and making it happen. As you know, we brought you um, four segments this week. Uh, we had our highlight topic with a couple of Nigerian journalists, Idris and Oahu uh, Ahoma Kanu, talking about the media coverage of the Nigerian floods and how whether there was a lack of coverage or the difficulties of actually just covering um, the various flooding in the different states. Uh, for our hot topic, we talked to Mr. Milton Almadi of Black Star News on the final days of the U.S. election and um, its reactions by Africans both here in the U.S. and in Africa. We then went to the roundtable with Rudolph Okonkwo where we spoke with Howard Katzman and Chris Anadobe, both political analysts, um, again, on the U.S. elections and what an outcome, whether Obama or Mitt Romney, might mean for Africa. Um, we then went to an Inspire segment where we talked to Florence Nwegbu, who, um, having a child suffering from autism, created a social health app called Livewello, where she took all the different necessary um, necessary. Uh, things that her child needs, like medicines and doctors that they need to do and procedures that they need to go to, and use one social app to kind of help track the health care that her child needs and make it manageable for, for her family. And um, that's out there now on uh, iTunes and, uh, and um, the iStore and other apps, so if you want to check that out, it is really interesting. Um, also, all of our videos, as always, are on YouTube. Um, at the Sahara TV channel. So if you missed any of the interviews or wish to go back and see them, also our regulars, Keeping Real and Dr. Damages, will be up on our channel at Sahara TV. If you'd like to follow along um, our Twitter and Facebook on this and other topics that we've been posting, uh, we have Facebook Sahara TV and Sahara Reporters. We also have Twitter uh, at Sahara Reporters and at Sahara TV One. So again, thank you so much and we'll see you next week.